Good morning, good morning guys and gals. Yeah, we are getting ready to leave here. Or we are just leaving this Wilson uh, truck stop. Yeah. <clears throat> Looks like it's going to be another beautiful day out here again today. That's what it looks like to me. Not too many clouds, beautiful sunshine. What better can you ask for, right? That's what I say. Alright, let's see where that other four-wheeler wants to go to already. He wants to go down in there too, so then we are good to go. Get back on the interstate here in a minute. And then we'll be uh, making our way towards Massachusetts. It's going to be another long day today for me, I believe. <clears throat> I think so anyways. I think we're going to be putting in as many miles as we possibly can the today. To the left on I-94 East. Kind of like what we did yesterday, although we... Uh, didn't quite get as many as I really wanted to, but uh, hey, we still got a good number of uh, miles in yesterday. I think we had over 500 miles yesterday. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all, I would say. <clears throat> Although if I would have left a little earlier than what I did, wouldn't have had the accident there on the 23. I probably would have done 600 miles yesterday. But that's the way it sometimes goes. Good thing is we don't have an appointment. Okay, well, you know, not really an appointment there at Massachusetts. It's just basically first come, first serve, uh, although they do want us there on the 3rd before 3 o'clock in the afternoon which is uh, 2 o'clock my time because it's eastern time up there so uh, we kind of do have to get her up and going well today is only Monday and uh, what do we got here we got 1353 miles to go to our delivery yet so if we do a little over 600 today and a little over 600 tomorrow or something like that we'll have uh only about a little over a hundred miles left maybe maybe 120 maybe two hours drive on Wednesday you know so, uh, so yeah that might actually work out perfectly that way I uh, I probably roll in there maybe 10 o'clock 11 o'clock in the morning that way uh, I don't have a whole lot of traffic maybe anymore around Boston there because this is just north of Boston so uh, that way it'd be pretty easy rolling into there. It might actually work better for me anyways. <laughs> Even if I left early, I might not get in there till probably 9, 10 o'clock anyways because uh, all the traffic and all that stuff. So. so yeah, that's good. We'll, uh, we'll figure that out. And, uh, I think we have figured it out. And uh, we'll get in there one day before lunch, I think. But yeah, so that's awesome. We'll get unloaded over there and then we'll see what we will do from there. But as of right now, we don't have anything yet, but it's only Monday morning, right? So, <laughs> what do you expect, right? But yeah, looks like it's going to be a beautiful morning, like I said. I did a little shopping in there. I got me a couple of extra tomatoes and got me a little bit more uh, uh, turkey sandwich uh, be uh, meat. So, uh that way I can make me more sandwiches in the truck. Got me a bottle of milk. Had me some cereal this morning. I've been trying to eat more and more out of the truck. <clears throat> After I got that big repair bill out of uh, out of my engine there from my shop, I still owe them some money. So trying to pay that off as soon as I possibly can. So. Uh, so I'm trying to eat a little bit more out of my truck. It's a lot cheaper anyway, so uh, hopefully I can pay them off a little quicker, right? 
But that's a uh, get on down the road and have yourself a fantastic day. Thank you for joining us and riding along with us today. So that's uh, don't go nowhere. Let's uh, stick around for the rest of the show. All right, guys, we are still cruising right along here and just enjoying our relaxed day. Kind of missing my family a lot right now because the last two, two trips I've had a family member with me. Last trip I had my son with me and the trip before I had my uh, wife with me. So, uh, so yeah, I'm kind of lonely in here right now. <laughs> but yeah, we're going through uh, Madison, uh, Wisconsin right now. And we've been going for about three and a half hours already. Well, my plan is to make it up to uh, South Beloit, Illinois. We'll stop in there and uh, take me a little bit of a break in there I think and then we'll continue on again but I'll probably take my half an hour break over there and then uh, you'll take me a shower maybe I don't know I might just do that go in there and take me a shower and all that stuff but hey we'll see what happens but yeah we're just cruising right along here and Still a beautiful day. Traffic is moving right along here. I'm gonna try and not waste too much time in South Beloit though, because uh, by the time I hit Chicago, it might be a little bit traffic if I waste too much time in there, right? So I might wait till uh, after Chicago somewhere to take a shower. I know up there in Ohio, the uh, rest areas, they got free showers. And they do have a few pilots and flying jays along the way up there too, so might be able to pull in over there somewhere and take me a shower over there. But, but yeah, we're just going to continue on cruising right along, along here and hope for the best. We get some good miles in today. I can't, well, I can, but I don't really want to waste a lot of time anywhere. I just feel like going. I do need some good miles so I can pay off my mechanic and all that stuff, so... So yeah, that's what's going down right now. As you can see, it's a pretty calm day, no wind, hardly any wind at all. So that's awesome, we got 27 degrees Celsius today, and you know what else is new? Today is already August 1st. Man, the time flies fast. It's like only it felt like yesterday and it was like finally warming up and the uh, last couple of weeks we've been complaining about how hot it is you know what by the end of this month it's starting to cool off already and we will be starting to complain about how cold it gets <laughs> yeah so uh, yeah so we might want to enjoy August as much as we can today is August 1st Wow, man, time flies fast. And I'm still debating on whether or not I'm going to go to the Dallas Truck Show or not. I really would love to go, but I don't know if I can afford it. I mean, I still owe quite a few thousand dollars on my truck yet on the repair bill that we had done here last month. So I don't think I can afford it. So I might have to skip that this year. I might have to wait till next year. Maybe next year I can afford it. Maybe then we'll go. But yeah. Anyways, we'll continue cruising along here and show you what we can. All right, guys, we just finished doing our business up here at this pilot. Yes, indeed. Just finished fueling up. That's what I'm referring to. And well, it's a road king. It's not really a pilot. It's a road king slash pilot, I guess you could say. And uh, I do have a subscriber up here that works here. I don't know if he's working today because I never got to see him or I guess he never saw me. But yeah. And so here we are leaving now. Took care of business. 
That is a bite to eat. In three hundred feet, fuel. turn right on Willowbrook Road. Clean their CR windshields. And then turn right in eight hundred feet. And uh, I hit my arm. I do have a little bit of a. What the heck is this guy waiting for? Anyways. I hit my hand right here on the on the shifter. Now it's bleeding. I gotta be careful on that, I guess. But yeah, here we go. Let's get out of here. I don't know why it is, but every time you pull over, and Gardner Street. You go in to do some business. Take the entrance to the right in 900 feet. It takes you longer than you want to spend in there. I don't know why that is, but same deal again today with me. I was only going to be in there for half an hour and ended up being in there at least 45 minutes, you know? I didn't want to do that, but oh well. I guess that's the way it goes sometimes. Anyways, let's go fight the traffic in Chicago. Alrighty guys, we are now in Chicago. Yes, indeed we are. We're a little bit on the outskirt of Chicago, I guess, because we're on 294, I-294, but yeah, it was pretty heavily trafficked there for a little while. And now it's finally cleared up a little bit. Oh, I see they have raised their speed limits at 60 mile an hour up here now. I didn't realize that. I, don't, I thought it was uh, 55 and that's why the GPS is screaming at me because I got my crew set for 55 speed limit and I guess when I go downhill it's telling me I'm going speed warning. But yeah, wow, that's interesting to know. Well, I kind of was always wondering how come they had 55 speed limit on here. I mean, it's an interstate and, you know, well, why not? It's four lanes. Should be 60 mile or even 65 mile an hour in my opinion, but but anyways, that's good to see that they got 60 mile an hour speed limit up here now. But yeah, we're just cruising right along here, and enjoying the day. Although it was a little heavy traffic, like I said, that uh, doesn't matter. We got through it. And here we are. We'll see how it is on the other side, but yeah, so far everything looks good. And the funny part is. As you guys probably know from last week's video, or at least last week I released a video on the old Thermo King deal there, that uh, I'm going to be going right by their place, like only like two miles from their place. And as they said on the comment down below on that video that I had uploaded, um, I should give them a second chance. So I took them up on that offer and uh, I called them up earlier and well I called up the, uh, the uh, I guess you could call vice president or president of that company and that's uh, responsible for that area and, uh, and uh, talk to him and see if he wanted to do this in person and uh, maybe also fix my fairing there that's not lining up. And they said they would be uh, honored to do that. So, uh, so we're going to go there tomorrow morning. We're going to give them a second chance. Yes, we are. So uh, they're also going to give me my uh, money back for the one that they overcharged me on uh, on the overtime there. So they're going to make it right. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. But. I can almost guarantee you we're going to have our cameras up and we're going to try and release that video as soon as we have internet. And I hope uh, we do get internet somewhere. And then we can upload that. Let you guys all know that it's been resolved. If it uh, actually does get resolved tomorrow. And then we can move forward. That's right. But yeah. I'm a, I'm a very fair guy, so an honest guy, so I will give you a second chance. All you gotta do is ask to make it right. Then we'll give you a, a new start. We'll give a 
fr uh, fresh beginning, right? But yeah. Anyways, we're just cruising right along here and talk to the customer earlier and let them know I'll be there Wednesday sometime. He said, don't matter what time I get there, as long as I get there between, uh, I guess, 9 and uh, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, they'll get me unloaded. So, so that's awesome. We'll get down there and deliver our load on Wednesday. We still have 900 and what is that? 95 miles to go yet. That's right. So we got us a few miles to do yet. We'll probably do another four hours today. And we'll be done for today. Yeah. So anyways, we'll continue cruising right along here and then uh, We'll see what happens tomorrow. Let me explain what happened here. This driver got pissed off at me because he couldn't force to get into my lane earlier. So here he is passing me. Just keep an eye on what he's going to do right about now. He's just getting into my lane right now. And let's take a look what he's gonna do right now. You see that? You ready? Here we go. You saw that? He slammed on his brake so hard that he just about cut all of his straps and he just about lost his load I think but yeah this is the road rage that we sometimes deal with there was signs for miles that the left lane was closed so he couldn't force his way into on front of me so this is what he did just so he could get revenge because he couldn't get in front of me well guys we are just cruising right along here and uh, guess what we have gone all Almost through Indiana right now. Yes, indeed, we have. I'm just about to enter into Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. Yes, indeed. We still have 75 more miles to go to that uh, Petro truck stop. So we got about an hour and 15 minutes or so to go before we will be done for today, but hey. That's not too bad anymore. We've been working our real hard today, so uh, so yeah, we'll make it there, I think, and then uh, we'll go and uh, take care of some business tomorrow morning. But yeah, here we are, coming up to the sign where it says, Welcome to Ohio. That's right. Still sunshine. That's what we like. I'm happy, happy, happy. We're gonna be out of Indiana and all the roads should be a little bit better, I think. Not 100% sure, but I think so. Here we go, welcome to Ohio. That's right. But yeah, there Crossing we go, border. right Entering away. Ohio. Highway is better. Indiana has got terrible roads, terrible. But yeah, here we go. Now we're on smoother roads. Now we're gonna put the hammer down. So let's go. All right, guys, today's day has come officially to an end. Yes, indeed, look at that. We're here at the uh, Petro here in, uh, well, Millbury, Ohio. <laughs> yeah, that's right, we're in Millbury, Ohio. Yeah, it's a fairly big, uh, Petro here so we are calling it our night plenty of parking here you can see right there is a bunch of parking bunch of parking over there and everything so there's lots of parking over here guys so uh, yeah seems like this parking lot almost never fills up completely so hey we did get a lot of bugs on our windshield last uh, this last uh, hour of driving that we were doing yeah but yeah, we are done for today, so we're going to call our quits. We're heading into bed. We're going to go get us a good night's sleep. And then we'll continue on with our journey tomorrow. Looks like we got 760 miles, I think, we got left to do yet. So uh, I won't get that all in tomorrow, but, you know, whatever. We'll do the rest on Wednesday. So I appreciate you guys all watching. Stick around for tomorrow. Have a good one. Time to get going, it's time to move on. What do
this behind me. That day is gonna 